In this video, we'll go through the process for checking in to your remotely proctored exam on exam day. At your exam appointment time, click on the link in step two of the you are now ready to take your exam email from proctor exam. To avoid frustration on exam day, make sure that you click on the link right at your exam appointment time because you will not be able to start the process earlier than that. The link will open the Proctor exam page. Before proceeding, note that the right side of the Proctor exam screen will have menu icons. During the first few setup stages, you will only see a question mark icon here that is for the help guide. Clicking this button will open a window that has helpful information if you experience any issues during the setup process. If you continue to have issues after following these steps, click the Contact Us button, which will open the live chat support window where you can chat with the Proctor Exam troubleshooting support team. These options will be available to you throughout your exam. If you have any other tabs open, you will see this message and you will not be allowed to proceed until those tabs are closed. When you are ready, click Set Up Proctor Exam to start the security check-in process. It is very important to note that your exam timer does not start at this point. The time taken to complete the security check-in process will not impact your exam time. Your exam timer will start once you log into the Riser Assess platform after you have completed the security check-in process. Before starting the process, you must first confirm that you are ready to start the exam because you will not be allowed to leave your testing environment once you have started the proctoring checks. For instance, if you need to go to the washroom, you must go first before starting the security checks. If you leave, you will need to repeat the entire security check-in process again. After reading and confirming all of the items on this page, click Next. The first step is to enable notifications. Once you have confirmed this, click Next. Step two is to share your screen. Click Enable. You cannot have a dual monitor configuration on exam day. You must share the entire screen of your testing device. And with that, you select the screen, then click share. You are sharing your screen with Proctor exam from this point on, which is confirmed by the red recording icon that appears on the tab label. You may also click hide in the notification at the bottom of your screen to get rid of the pop-up, but do not click stop sharing. A new icon will also appear on the menu bar on the right side. This is the Proctor chat button. Clicking on the icon will open the Proctor chat window where you will be able to communicate with your Proctor throughout your exam. It is important to remember that all proctor communications will happen in writing via chat. Your proctor will not be able to speak to you verbally. When you are ready, click Next. The next steps are for setting up your sound and testing device camera. Click Test Microphone. Say something to your mic. To confirm that your mic is working. Then click Test Speaker. And click Yes if you hear the sample music. Click on Test Camera and confirm that your image is visible in the box. If it is, click Yes. 
The next step is to take a photo of your face. Ensure that you are positioned in the center of your screen and that you are adequately visible. When you are ready, click Take Photo. Confirm that you have a close-up and clear photo of your face. Then click Submit. And click Next. After that, you will take a photo of your ID. You must make sure that the ID capture is centered and the details in the ID are clear. Click on Take Photo. Check that the details on your ID are clear and fully visible in the captured photo. If it is, click Submit. If the photo that you submit is inadequate, you will be asked by your proctor to show your ID again later in the process. Click Next. Step 6 is setting up your remote proctoring device. Confirm that your device is ready, then click Next. Open the Proctor Exam app on your phone and use it to scan the QR code on screen. Once your phone is connected, click Next. Step 7 is to confirm the recordings. You must check that your screen sharing, testing device camera, and mobile device camera views are visible in the relevant boxes. Once you have, click Start Recording. From this point on, you will be video, screen, and audio recorded until you end your exam session. Click Next. The next step is the room scan. For this step, you must follow the instructions that will be delivered through your, your remote proctoring device. On your remote proctoring device, click Start Room Scan. Step 1 is to slowly move your camera to show your computer and keyboard. The keyword for this step and all other steps is slowly. You must ensure that you move slowly through all the steps of the room scan and that you capture your testing environment thoroughly. Your proctor will inspect your room and your workstation as you do the scan, and they may ask you to repeat steps or change or remove items from your testing environment as you go. To avoid frustration on exam day, Make sure that your environment is well prepared and that you have rehearsed the process of capturing your environment through the remote proctoring device. After capturing your testing device and, th and slowly and thoroughly through the remote proctoring device camera, click Next. The other steps in the room scan include showing your workstation, including the space behind your computer and the drawers on your desk or table, showing the space under your workstation and your ceiling, showing your entire room, and showing your face and ears. After completing the room scan steps through your remote proctoring device, continue the rest of the exam setup steps on your testing device. You must wait for instructions from your proctor through the chat function before proceeding. If they found the room scan to be inadequate, for example, if there were some areas that were missed or need to be looked at again, the proctor may ask you to repeat some steps. If the proctor confirms that the room scan was adequate, the proctor will then ask via chat to inspect your exam appointment confirmation email, your hands, forearms, and wrists, your pockets, and any other items on your workstation and immediate work environment. After receiving confirmation from your proctor to proceed, click Next. 
After confirming with the proctor that all relevant areas have been checked, you may proceed with placing your remote proctoring device in a spot that provides an alternative view of you and your workspace. You must make sure that you are clearly visible, as well as your computer, monitor, and the surrounding areas of your workspace. If the proctor identifies that the alternative view from your remote proctoring device is not adequate, they may ask you to change it. Once you have placed your remote proctoring device securely in an appropriate spot, you may click Continue. The last step is to check your internet connection. If your internet connection is found to be stable, click Next. If your internet is found to be unstable at this step on exam day, remember that this is a point in time check. If you previously received a message that you had sufficient internet stability through the system check, and you are taking the exam in a place where the Wi-Fi signal is strongest in your location, you are not using a hotspot connection or any other portable internet device, you have ensured that virtual private networks or VPNs are disabled, and you told everyone in your testing location to not use the internet while you're taking the exam, then you may tick the checkbox and proceed with your exam. Going through the connection check completes the setup steps for your exam. You may click Start Exam here, but this won't lead you just yet to the exam platform. It will open the Proctor exam page that you must keep open for the duration of your exam. Before starting your exam, make sure that you have familiarized yourself with all of the menu options that are now available on the right side of the page. If you encounter issues during the exam, you may be able to fix these issues by clicking on the relevant button. The first button is screen sharing. The second one is your testing device camera. The third one is your remote proctoring device camera. The fourth one is the proctor chat. And the last one is the help guide. As mentioned previously, if you encounter technical issues, you may click on the Contact Us button to open the Proctor Exam Troubleshooting Chat. When you are ready, click on the link at the bottom of the page to open the Riser Assess platform in a new tab. You must keep both the Proctor Exam and Riser Assess tabs open for the duration of your exam. Enter the username and password from the printed copy of your exam appointment confirmation email, then click Login. You will be taken immediately to the exam platform page and your exam will begin immediately as well once you log in you may start your exam. CAPR is committed to providing information and resources in preparation for the written component of the PCE. This video is one of a series that aims to provide candidates with information related to all aspects of the PCE, including applying, preparing, scoring, and post-exam services. Visit AllianceBT.org to access our PCE resources.